There were various ways to load a percussion revolver back in the days of the Civil War. The soldier could load the six-shooter with loose powder and ball, or pre-roll paper cartridges the soldier had to open before use. And there were cartridges that were ready to fire without opening, like the combustible envelope cartridges. Recreating the original cartridge for an original revolver is a great fun. During the war the cartridges were not uniform. They were manufactured in state-owned arsenals and also by private contractors in huge quantities. Therefore there are a great variation in construction method, powder charge, ball and lubrication. I decided to go for a simple version described in the ordnance manual. 30 grains of 2F powder charge and a 4.56 diameter 230 grain lead bullet. The only special tool you will need for the job is a wooden rod with tapered end. The diameter should be around 0.3 inches at one end and 0.46 on the other. The length of the tapered part is around 1.3 inches. Now it is time to make the sample sheet for the skin of the cartridge. Use a normal copy paper and wrap the tapered part with one layer. Cut the exact size but leave 2mm apart for the gluing on the side. Before proceeding check if the size is ok. Now it is time to make the end of the cartridge. I make this from normal tissue paper. The flesh of the cap will have to break through here so it must be thin. This is why I separate one layer and cut 1 cm by 1 cm squares from it. Now let's make the skin of the cartridge. Use your sample and put it on a dozen of layers of hair curling paper. This paper is thin enough to burn completely in the chamber without any special treatment. The taper form of the cartridge will help easy loading. This is why I chose this odd form for the paper. When you are done with the drawing, cut the pieces and there you go, ready for assembly. The assembly starts with placing the 1 by 1 cm parts on the end of the mandrel. Now apply some glue on the shortest end and one side of the paper. Place the shortest side on the mandrel so it meets the tissue paper and roll it up completely. The glued part will secure the tissue paper well. If you did it right and did not apply too much glue, the paper case will be easy to separate from the mandrel. This cartridge size is set for conical bullet and a 30 grain volume. If you choose to use less powder you can also use some filler like cornmeal here. Now it is time to insert the ball, but before doing so, apply some glue on the bottom edge of the bullet. The trombone like end of the case will accept the bullet easily. You can carefully slide it in place. When it sits firmly on the powder, roll the glued part between your fingers. And there you go, your cartridge is ready for boxing and later use at the range. The cartridges were boxed in wooden containers wrapped in paper. Usually six cartridges were packaged together with seven caps. The boxes were disposable, but I made my own version for longer use. If you are looking for a box like this, check back later as we just started manufacturing them, so we'll be able to supply you as well 